Um, QR codes, what is the function? Is anyone using a QR code here yet for any reason? Yes, yes, very good. If you're not using a QR code, there's no reason you shouldn't. There's a million applications for them. Um, I wasn't uh, quite sold the first time I saw them, but now I love them. If you haven't seen it, uh, QR stands for quick response. And it's basically, for our purposes, it's a symbol that can connect you directly to um, the uh, screen that we see behind us. <laughs> I asked for a couple of extra seconds, right? Um, QR codes <laughs> come in flavors. Uh, the one that I'm going to talk about is that big one up there, but there's also some other formats, like uh, Microsoft has something called uh, the MS Tag format. Uh, you can do a lot more with it as far as marketing stuff, but I like that big, geeky, blocky thing up there because it's mysterious. So a QR code is basically the next generation of a 1D barcode. Um, uh, uh, funnily enough, these this 1D barcode started uh, back in the 50s, these two guys overheard uh, a, a guy at a grocery store say, gosh, I would really love to be able to check out groceries a lot quicker. Does anyone remember the QCAT? Yeah, oh, this is the right crowd. Um, you remember how it didn't take off, too? <laughs> well, it, it was a great idea. It was just a little bit ahead of its time. So QR codes are really hot right now because we've got these portable devices. They've got a camera on them, and they can take a picture that can uh, not really be used as a picture, but to connect folks to a virtual resource from the physical world. This is a uh, three, three uh, 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 screenshots from my droid uh, taking a picture of a QR code. And it was really hard to take that picture because it reads so fast. It whisks us away to, in this case, to uh, our uh, uh, mobile page uh, at, the, at the library. And so the way that we went about this was to have a uh, basically a book Right? So it's kind of really old school, but it's a gateway to our cross-platform mobile app. And we've got this app that works on all of the, uh, uh, the smartphone platforms so that you can uh, receive library services. This is Vicki. She was so inspired by looking at the QR code, she said, this looks just like a cross-stitch. <laughs> Doesn't that rock? Yeah. yeah. So the cross-stitch is on my desk. Um, QR codes are being used, of course, a lot of, for, for marketing. You can see that, hey, they're putting QR codes on attractive young people. Isn't that surprising? <laughs> um, but they're in all sorts of, uh, of different ways to market. And so that's where you're seeing them a lot. You're seeing them in the paper, of course, right now. This is one of the coolest ways to use a QR code, a boarding pass for your plane. If you have to change your seat, they can do it like that. And, and that happened to me recently. Um, uh, well, changing the seat's not great. But at least I didn't have to have a paper ticket printed, and you don't have to carry all this paper around. Um, QR codes can link you to other forms of communication like a podcast or an actual app as well, as well as any, any digital object that is on, uh, available uh, via the internet. <sighs> uh, a lot of folks are using it for contact information. It's a good way to roll a lot of information into an easy to read um, uh, symbol. And again, this is what makes it so cool is you don't have to type in a URL or remember anything. You can just take a picture of it with your phone and uh, it works out really well. This is so cool. I saw this at South by Southwest this year. These two zombies <laughs> were walking around, and this was, a, this was a QR code game, and they were selling these lanyards for like two bucks, and if you wanted to participate in the game there, you bought the lanyard and ran around and tagged each other, um, which I thought was cool. But how about this? How many times have you seen a great artist on the street performing, and you wanted to say something, but you don't have time. I gotta get to the thing, or whatever I'm going to. You can scan that and say, hey, you were all right. I liked, I liked what you did. It's instant feedback, and that's an awesome, awesome thing. This was my favorite. I was walking by a, a traffic barricade, and there's this mysterious sticker. It's a skull with a QR code. Do I scan it or do I not scan it? And I thought, how cool. That was really engaging, right, to, to, to see that. So you might wonder how you get your own. I highly recommend this. If you have the talent, do this, because it totally rocks. And Vic, Vicky will probably make you one if you have a QR code. Come to the library. Um, but they're, they're, they're totally simple to make. There's not much to them. I asked my daughter to help me, and so I gave her some graph paper and a Sharpie. You can make a QR code that way, or you can just uh, go to one of the many uh, generators online to, uh, to generate a QR code from your URL or from your other internet resource. Uh, and, and just try it, it's a lot of fun. A couple of tips and tricks, uh, make sure that the, your web resource is mobile friendly, make sure it looks good on your, your small device. Um, uh, the shorter you, the URL, the better, because the code is not as complex and it reads easier, less errors. Uh, make sure it opens the correct resource. Uh, be sure to check your work. And the other thing is make sure that it's not behind something glossy. I remember I, went, I saw one in, in uh, Tucson and I was trying to read it and they put it behind this glossy uh, thing and couldn't read it, it was terrible. Anyone have any ideas? 
We'll do it. Thank you very much.